this is called Fuel for the Soul. I got it on 4-13-24, around 2 a.m. Fuel. In your times, some form of fuel is needed to create energy. Food creates a type of fuel for the body, and that creates energy to function. Gasoline is a fuel that creates a type of energy to run some types of motors. Wood, coal, hydrogen, and nuclear power are used on the earth as fuel to heat, cool, and bring power to the masses. All of these sources of fuel are helpful and can also be harmful to man depending on how they are used and what is done with their remnants. What brings fuel to the spirit of a person? What causes change to be used by the soul of a man to guarantee spiritual energy and endurance? Worship is fuel for the soul. Not any type of worship, but worship of the Lord God Almighty. The high appreciation and acknowledgement of my traits and gifts with a grateful and humble heart is worship. Worship is best fueled with music, for the words are retained most easily into the soul with a tune, and music brings joy to the heart. But for some times, worship can be with words of prayer and praise, or times of observing my creation and having a heart that takes note and appreciates what is noticed, reckoning the delights as gifts I have given. A deep worship exists when consuming my holy scriptures. They impress the traits I have into the soul, reading and rereading my words and my son's words, transforming the soul. To worship is to set aside self and focus on me. This brings a fervent energy to the soul. This allows the Holy Spirit to fan the flames and grow the fire within. That is when a blaze spills out as holiness onto others. This can spill out as joy, peace, love, compassion, service, friendship, truth, and many other ways. It can also spill out as deeper prayer and more meaningful praise. It can spill out by having a deeply inquisitive spirit that craves the Holy Spirit or craves to know my words deeper and deeper. Each thing, praise, prayer, and scripture fans the flame to increase each other, keeping the fire burning stronger and stronger. Typically, when flames are fanned in a blaze, this also fuels a great confidence in me, as well as the willingness to be used as a vessel for miracles or by sharing the gospel or in any way I ask. Each one with the proper fuel has evidence of spiritual fervor. Just like a fire with wood has evidence of smoke, heat, and ash, the spiritual fire has evidence of zeal for my mission and the confidence that I have all the details. A deep trust that gives me the reins to guide the path and resolve any conflicts with the spiritual fight and with man. Be of zeal, worship and grow deep. Trust that I am who I say I am. No matter what your eyes see or what burdens you, know that I have it. Allow me to counsel you. Allow me to protect and provide. Know my stories in the Bible. See how I work. I will work in subtle ways most of the time. But when those things subtle are then trusted, then I work in more bold ways. Trust in me in the small things so that I can show you miracles with the bold things. Come close to me. Like a small child in the grasp of a protective father, I seek to shelter you, but you must come. And this ended at 2.22 a.m. And in the Hebrew, it is Uriel, the flame of God. And in the Greek, it's Alexandrian. Okay, so here's the verses that go with it. Matthew 3 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. 1 Thessalonians 5 19. Do not quench the spirit. Hebrews 13 15. Therefore by him 
Let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Isaiah 25, 1. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise him. Psalm 119, 47. And I will delight myself in your commandments, which I love. James 5, 13. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing psalms. Uh, Colossians 4, 2. Continue earnestly in prayer being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. So I hope you find that encouraging and uh, see you next time.